this is Perch. Um, to be honest, I think most of the conversation that's happening, uh, when I'm, I'm talking online, not just in social media, but, you know, places like uh, the various message boards. What's the, not 4chan, the 4chan, the, like, um, uh, anyway, uh, Kiwi Farms, places like that. Um, or Twitter, or Facebook, or YouTube, or wherever. I think most of the conversation that's going on is by people who are not actually reading the comics. I think that they're, you know, a lot of the conversation I see, now not not all of it, and there's plenty of people who do read the comics, uh, but I think a lot of it is is from people who are, you know, involved in another fight, just happens to be the comics as the battleground. And I don't think there's anything terribly wrong with that. Now, you might be surprised by that statement. I think as long as people are upfront and honest about uh, you know where they are in the process, what what they do, um, I think you know everybody has a right to complain. Everybody has a right to say what's on their mind. And if the way you want to participate in comics is by not reading them and commenting more on the cultural material around it, um, I think that's ridiculous. But I think it's your right to do it. Um, here, I'll give you an example. Um, and, and, and by the way, I've had people ask me, uh, before questions like, uh, you know, just because I don't read DC doesn't mean I can't, uh, you know, look at the solicitations, look at how they promote and comment on it. And that's a fair statement. I, I, I think the only bad part is if you're commenting on it saying like, I'm buying every DC comic and it's terrible when you're not really. I mean, you know, I think that's that's crap, and uh, and and frankly, if you know the people who do that, I think look like idiots because you you get the natural question of, hang on, if you hate uh, everything that's going on in the comic, why in the world are you uh, are you buying it? Why you why do you keep <laughs> why do you keep reading it? Uh, that seems rather weird, and I think that's that is true. Uh, but the same, by, you know, fair is fair in the other direction. You know, there are people who say, I really love, uh, you know, uh, Vita and Vita's work on static. Uh, Vita has a, a group of people that like Vita and who, you know, are kind of in that circle of influence. Several of them have noted that they can't afford to buy the comics. They don't buy the comics, but yet they still like the creator, like what Vita's got going on. Is that unfair? I, no, again, I think you could like whatever you like. It, it just, you do need to come out with it and say, I'm not actually reading the material I'm commenting on, but, you know, anyone can, can address it. You can look at what a company markets, you can look at what uh, a company advertises, and you can decide for yourself, hey, this looks terrible, this looks bad. Um, I read a vast number of comics. I used to read all the comics. Um, now it's just not conceivable for me to read all the comics. I still think I'm reading at least 75% of them, at least. And, you know, but but I'll comment on things. But I am quick to say, you know, I'm not reading this. This looks terrible. Or I'm not reading this. I think this looks pretty great. In fairness, if I think it looks pretty great, I'm probably going to go out of my way to read it. But uh, people use this this line of argument to kind of invalidate someone's opinions without actually, uh, you know, doing the work to prove or disprove the point. And that's what's kind of annoying about this. When you say things like, uh, oh, you're not even reading the comics, but you're really, you're not addressing what somebody is saying. If somebody says, hey, you know, DC uh, puts out a, a ad of, uh, you know, the strongest character in the Bat family is Alfred. And if you look at that and you go, all right, well, this is either tongue in cheek or stupid because they killed Alfred, then, you know, it, there's nothing wrong with that statement. You're responding to what you're seeing. If uh, Marvel puts out a press release and says, you know, finally, a strong female character arrives in the Marvel universe, whether or not you read that comic book, you're, you're absolutely fair and in your rights, and I think accurate, to say, hang on, Marvel's had strong female characters for decades now. What are you talking about? There was um, there was an article that it wasn't CBR, but it was one of the sites like this, like the the second tier. And I realize that's a weird statement when you're talking about CBR in, in the first place. But um, they they said uh, with X Men Red, finally, Storm 
will get to show that she can be a leader. And you read that article and you're like, well, this person's a moron. I, I mean, what, what are you even talking about? And somewhere down the line, it did reference the fact that, yes, uh, back, you know, what, 40 years ago now? Uh, Chris Claremont had Storm in a leadership position. But she was not written like her authentic self. Isn't Al Ewing from the UK? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just pointing out. <laughs> I, I think that... Uh, a lot of this this argument, and people label it gatekeeping or any number of things. But in general, look, if you have a comment about something, you're free to make it. Now, I, I think that if, you know, and again, I think these are two separate things. You're free to make comments about things you don't read. Absolutely you are. You do need to understand the risk that if you comment too closely on things you don't read and pretend that you've read it, you may come off sounding dumb. Like, the, frankly, the person who uh, was claiming that finally we're going to get to see Storm as a leader. Phew, finally. It's been so long. Can't believe they haven't done anything before now. Um, you may come off sounding stupid. But that's, that's your risk. I mean, whenever you talk, you know, you, you, may, you may work out, may not. It's on you. The other part of it, and, and it goes without saying, but it, 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 these two things are not mutually exclusive is you probably should find something else to do with your life. I mean, <laughs> if if uh, you find that the only enjoyment you get out of comics at all as a hobby is to crap on them, then, you know, that that's it's, it's not going to last very long. But again, it's your choice. You can do whatever you want. I think people should start worrying a lot less about, uh, you know, who's who likes what or who reads what and everything. Just start re- worrying about what you read. Worry about what you like. If you like something, or you want to comment on something and you haven't read, or whatever it happens to be, that's your business. You know, go nuts. I, I, the, the only person who can gatekeep your profession and hobby is yourself. This is not like the, the days of old where there were it was hard to get comics and you had to, you know, but actually that was never really the case with comics. This, this idea of gatekeeping, and I, I did a video about this once upon a time, around uh, things like Dungeons and & Dragons and tabletop games. Well, that required you know, more than just you. You had to go into a group. And yes, there were people who you, know, you had to conform to the group in order to play the game. And it was, you know, it, and, or, and or be rich. or I mean, it was just it, to be able to buy all this stuff yourself. I mean, it was, there was areas where the hobby was not something you could just step into. Today, you could do it. You could comics are free for all. I mean, literally, not not actually free. Of course, they cost way too much money. But there, you, anyone can step into there. I mean, in fact, the arguably the only thing that's gatekeeping comics today is their exorbitant cover prices. But that's a, that's a different matter. Uh, you know, read what you want, do what you want. But uh, this phony argument, a little bit of uh, well, you're not actually reading the comics. I, again, unless you're trying to make a very specific statement about a story, it doesn't really matter. I, I know I, there's going to be people who super disagree with this take, and I, I understand, but think about it. Lots of people comment on things they haven't personally experienced. The level of uh, how smart or stupid that is really hinges on uh, completely, completely separate things. It uh, it hinges on. Uh, you know, basically how intelligent they are about the topic they're talking about. Like this channel, usually not intelligent about the topic it talks about. And yet here you are all anyway, a bunch of masochists. I don't know. I've gotten a number of questions on this topic. Uh, rather than read any individual one, I just uh, covered them all kind of in, in one go. But, uh, you know, it's just stop worrying about it. I'm very distracted right now because uh, I'm, I'm driving around, as you can tell. Um, I like, by the way, some people have commented, like, I, he sounds like a completely different person when he's uh, recording from home versus uh, on the road. There's kind of three recording states for me. There's on the road, which you're getting now. There is uh, in my house, but uh, have uh, forgotten to plug in the microphone, so it sounds kind of echoey. 
Um, no, not recording from the bathroom. And then there's, you get the, you get the hardwood floors. And even if you put a rug or two in there and some stuff on the wall, it still echoes. And then I plug in the microphone and I get that deep, rich, luxurious voice that, uh, you know, that's, that's the money that everybody tunes into. I, <laughs> I am not serious right now. Anyway, I hope you're having a good day. Keep reading comics or don't, whatever you, whatever you got to do, man. But, but just, uh, you know, just, just to say what, say what you're actually doing. Everything else works itself out. Thanks for listening. Thank <laughs> you.